Chapter 1 The Last Oath puts you in the boots of a knight carrying out one final mission after everything has gone wrong. Your kingdom has fallen, your oath to the king remains, and you're left dragging a heavy sword towards your destination. And I do mean dragging, because this game is not about any flashy combat. This pixel art walking sim focuses on discovery through simple interactions. As you move through the world, you'll piece together what happened through text-based conversations with the environment itself. It's a quiet, contemplative experience that lets the story unfold naturally while you take in the atmosphere. The Last Oath turns a simple premise, completing one final task, into something meaningful. There's no saving the world here, you're just trying to keep a promise in a world that's already lost. Number two. Lightum takes the familiar idle clicker formula and blasts it straight into space. You'll be gathering star energy to create more stars and build up constellations across the void. You can discover all 80 plus real constellations complete with their mythological stories or go completely off script and design your own stellar patterns. The game will even auto-name your custom constellations if they don't match any existing ones, though you're free to name them after your cat like you want to. Between the skill tree unlocks, including a galactic market and space casino, and the ability to reboot your entire universe to keep progressing, Lightum manages to make constellation building feel both educational and endlessly expandable. An idle game that will have you looking up at the night sky even when you're not playing. Number three. You're riding a giant turtle through hostile forests to warn an outpost that the beast has awakened. Yes, I said giant turtle, and no, not that beast. This survival adventure puts precision aiming front and center as you face down enemies and bosses across three dangerous forest zones. The game promises a lot of depth hiding behind just riding a turtle. You've got 100 unique talents to choose from, plus 10 special abilities and 5 elemental attacks to craft your perfect build. The progression system lets you unlock new weapons and even different turtles as you gather orbs throughout your journey. It's a challenging blend of skill-based combat and RPG customization, where your success depends as much on your aim as it does on smart build choices. Heal to Death flips the typical dungeon crawler on its head by making you the healer instead of the damage dealer. This roguelike takes the supporting role from MMORPGs and turns it into the main focus as you draft parties, explore dungeons, and keep your allies alive while they handle the undead. You'll have 35 different heroes to recruit, 32 spells that can be modified with 274 different upgrades, and 8 dungeons packed with 111 monster types and 22 bosses. You're not just healing, you're managing resources, timing abilities, and making tactical decisions about when to focus on offense versus keeping everyone breathing. It's a clever concept that gives healers their moment to shine, where healing becomes the entire strategic focus, complete with permanent upgrades and gear progression to keep runs feeling fresh. And before we get to our last spot, congrats to last week's winner, Trigger of Time. Be sure to vote for your favorite in the comments to have them included in this year's Gato Game Awards. And like last year, just because a game doesn't win its week doesn't mean it can't be included in the awards. Number five. You find yourself in a fictional national park as Izzy, a young photographer hunting for cryptids in Lone Pine. What starts as a creature hunting expedition becomes something much more complex when a storm traps you on the mountain and reveals the park isn't quite what it appears to be. The game blends traditional adventure elements with some clever mechanics. You'll use your camera to document evidence, communicate with park rangers via radio, and navigate branching conversations that shape your relationships. The hand-drawn art captures the national park atmosphere while the mystery unfolds through point-and-click puzzles and folklore-inspired encounters. Your choices can lead to two different endings, and the fully voiced acted characters help sell the tension of being isolated in a place where reality might be more flexible than expected. It's cryptid hunting meets survival adventure, with some genuine heart. 